All right, so I am holding the world's first coilless atomizer. My name is David. I am a inventor of this product. I'm getting my PhD in condensed matter physics at a, uh, well, I'm not gonna tell you my university, but this product is designed to help uh, my uncle quit smoking. Uh, he is the CEO of the company. Now, he, he smokes about one pack a day and uh, his lungs are heavily damaged. So he cannot use coil tanks, any coil products on the market because it's too irritating to him. Now the reasons many of you guys may, may know or maybe you guys don't know is that with coil systems, it's overcooking your e-liquid, it's overcooking your e-juice and it's creating more toxins. So it's highly irritating, which is why um, the technology that we introduce here is gonna be a lot, uh, a lot is gonna produce a much better flavor for you guys. So today I'm gonna to demonstrate uh, how to change and replace the cotton. Uh, because as a new product, you know, it's a, it's a brand new product. Uh, a lot of people don't know how to use it. And if you look on YouTube, there are some um, videos, uh, there are some attempts to change the cotton, but it's not done correctly. And if it's not done correctly, you're gonna encounter poor performance and uh, you know oil leaking from the tank. So you don't want that. So here, here we go. You wanna take everything apart. The way I do it neatly is um, I unscrew this, this piece right here. Okay, unscrew that, and you can you can pull out the C CVU chip. You can pull this off. Next, you want to pull off the O-ring. Some people like to squeeze it, and the O-ring will slightly come up. Or other people like to use their fingernail and uh, just. You know, whatever you do, remove the O-ring, okay? Once you remove the O-ring, I suggest removing the cotton, uh, you know, this way. Don't just like pull it off, then you're gonna have some cotton fiber uh, stuck on the, on the inside. So, we provide 20 slices of prepackaged cotton in the packaging. If you take out, if you take out the envelope, Take out the extra O-rings, and inside you should find pre-packaged, pre-sliced, 22.5 by 22.5 millimeters. All right. So what you want to do is you want you want to see the horizontal fibers. You see the horizontal fibers. You want it to be horizontal. You want to take the CPU chip, lay it against it, and fold over it. Now it's very important that the cotton sits right beneath the metal clips. You see the metal clips on the port? Well, you want the cotton line to be right beneath that, right against that, okay? And uh, once you have this step done, it's pretty important that you get that. Simply hold it on the sides and slide it in. Okay, and so it's really that simple. Uh, go ahead and put the um, this part on. All right. Go ahead and put the O-ring on. What I like to do is I like to put the O-ring uh, in this spot. Use my thumb, press against it, and stretch it over. Okay. And so it's that easy. All right. Now I'm gonna stretch out the cotton just slightly, and then press it. Press it like this. The reason why I'm pressing it like that is so that you know, I'm preparing myself to twist this part into uh, this component right here. And see it snaps in very nicely. And then go ahead and install the base. This part is pretty important. You want to pull the cotton out. Okay. Once you pull the cotton out, then you can stretch it. Make sure that it's tight against the CVU's chip surface. And then gently spread the cotton to the sides. All right, so you know, many of you guys will be better at this than I am because I don't really vape. However, with this product, I am beginning to vape more and more because it's, <laughs> it's quite fun. All right, so um, at this point, you can prime it. Now, 
Now I'm using this green tea flavored juice. It's it's pretty good. Okay. Okay, so I suggest you guys to warm it up, keep it at low temperature setting. So I'm using a temperature control mod by Sigeli, it's a Snow Wolf. Um, with this, to warm it up, I'm going to have, have it at 151C and uh, probably 40 watts. It's not absolutely necessary that you do warm it up, but it helps. Okay. Once you hear a sound, it's ready to go. All right, so it's about warmed up. I'm gonna switch it to 185C and crank up the wattage to uh, uh, 50. Well, I'll put it on 60. So I recommend anywhere between 30 to 75 watts. If you're using temperature control, then keep it anywhere between 150 to uh, 230C. Um, if you're not using temperature control, go ahead and use 25 watts to 75 watts the numbers are approximate, you guys can uh, uh, experiment, but please be safe, uh, don't, um, don't overheat it and get any burnt flavor. Yeah, it's tasting great. So, you know, many of you guys are curious about what kind of material this chip is and, you know, whether it's, it's really uh, you know, healthy, uh, healthier than coils. Well, just know that uh, we we plan to release some information about the material, perhaps even the material name to you guys. Um, you know, um, as, at the correct moment in time. But just know that we are a company and an engineering team. We care about your health. We care about um, your well-being. We're not trying to push a product that's worse than coils and push it to you guys, you know. So, you know, my uncle is using this product. He's the he's the first user. You know, I'm not trying to design a product that's going to poison him and kill him. So, you know, um, I'm pretty confident that this material is quite safe. And if you guys know what it is, uh, you guys will definitely think it's quite safe. So, uh, more information is coming your way, but uh, have fun and enjoy.